the nature of nigun, a musical ritual for Shabbat Shira and Tu Bishvat. The Perek Shira, chapter of song, is an apocryphal book from the Middle Ages that teaches us that everything in the natural world, from the day itself to the rain, to the vegetables, to every manner of creature, sings praise just by its very existence. If you stop and listen to the wind through the trees, you begin to experience it not as wind, but as music. Each chapter of the Perak Shira takes us through a litany of natural wonders and creatures. In the line of Tanakh, each one sings. In honor of the mystical new year of the trees, the time of the first hints the earth is waking up from its winter slumber, this musical ritual focuses on the first three chapters of the book. These are the chapters of the inanimate natural wonders from the heavens and earth to fruits and vegetables. We first set our intention for the ritual with a line from Psalm 104, recognizing that all of creation itself rejoices in the divine. Like the practice of drawing the four corners of the talit together before the Shema, our next song draws phrases of a melody from the four corners of the earth together into one song. Wordless melodies, nigunim, then sail us across the sea and along rivers. We are swept into the sky amid the stars and clouds, and then tumble with the rain falling on the leaves of the wild trees. These trees sing a song in anticipation of divine judgment, but it isn't judgment as you are thinking. From the trees, we learn the contemplative practice of absolving ourselves of the need to judge a thing or moment and just step back and let it be. We then hear the songs of a member of each of the categories of fruits eaten as part of the mystical Tubishvat Seder, a fruit of inedible outside and edible inside, a fruit of edible outside and inedible inside, and a fruit eaten whole. And we close with the song of the grasses, which is how we began. Yehi chevod havaya leolam, yismach havaya v'ma'asav. May the glory of being endure forever. May being rejoice in creation. A quick word on divine names. We are most familiar with the divine name Adonai. This name literally means my Lord. It actually runs counter to how many of us view the divine. In Hebrew, I prefer to use two different divine names. Both are non-anthropomorphic and non-gendered. These names are Yah and Havaya. Yah is a divine name that is older than Judaism itself and is associated with the divine aspect of wisdom. It is both little more than a sigh and a little less than a primal scream. Yah contains the potential of the spectrum of experience all in one syllable. Havaya is a permutation of the unpronounceable divine name and means being, both noun and verb simultaneously. It also puns in the Hebrew with Chavaya, existence, and Ahava, love. So I invite you to find a comfortable position and pull up from the back of your neck like your spine is being picked up, like a delicate string of pearls between divine fingers. And take some nice deep breaths in your own time.
Heavens are saying, the sky speaks of divine glory and tells of divine handiwork. The earth is saying, the world and all that dwells within it are the holy ones. And it is saying, from the ends of the earth we hear song, glory to the righteous. Hi. 
Garden of Eden is saying, Arouse yourself, O north wind, and come, O south. Blow upon my garden, let its spices flow out. Let my beloved come to his garden and eat of its precious fruit. Gehenum is saying, For the Holy One has satisfied the longing soul and has filled the hungry soul with good. The wilderness is saying, the wilderness and the desert shall rejoice, and the arid expanse shall exult and blossom like the rose. The fields are saying, the Holy One founded the land with wisdom, establishing the heavens with understanding. The waters are saying, when the Eternal's voice resounds with the great mass of water in the heavens, and the Eternal raises vapors from the ends of the earth, when the Eternal makes lightning among the rain, and the Eternal brings out the wind from its storehouses. The seas are saying, more than the voices of many waters, more than the mighty waves of the sea, the Holy One on high is mighty. Rivers are saying, let the rivers clap their hands, let the mountains sing for joy together. The wellsprings are saying, as singers who are like dancers are all those who study.
the day is saying, day to day utters speech, and night to night relates knowledge. The night is saying, to speak of the Holy One's kindness in the morning, and of the Holy One's faithfulness by night. The sun is saying, the sun, when covered by the moon, stood in its abode. They speed at the light of your arrows and at the shining of your glittering spear. The moon is saying, the Holy One made the moon for the festivals. The sun knows the time of its coming. The stars are saying, you, only you, are the Holy One. You made heaven and heaven of heavens for all their host, the earth and everything that is in it, the seas and everything that is in them, and you preserve them all, and the host of heaven prostrate themselves to you. The thick clouds are saying, the one made darkness its secret place. The pavilion was dark with waters and thick clouds of the skies. The light clouds are saying, also the Holy One burdens the thick clouds with an overflow. The cloud scatters its light. The wind is saying, I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth.
The lightning bolts are saying, the one makes lightning for the rain, the one brings forth the wind from its storehouses. The dew is saying, I shall be as the dew to Israel and shall blossom as a rose and spread forth roots as the Lebanon. The rains are saying, you, Elohim, poured a generous rain to strengthen your heritage when it languished. The wild trees are saying, then the trees of the forest shall sing out as divine presence approaches awaiting the earth to be judged. I hear 
The vine is saying, so says the one, as the wine is found in the cluster, and you say, do not destroy it, for a blessing is in it. So shall I do for the sake of my servants, so as not to destroy everything. The fig is saying, the one who guards the fig shall eat of her fruits. The pomegranate is saying, your brow is like a piece of pomegranate behind your braids. The palm is saying, the righteous flourish like the palm tree. They grow like a cedar in Lebanon. The apricot is saying, like the apricot tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among young men. I sat down under his shadow with delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. The sheaves of wheat are saying, a song of ascents. Out of the depths I have cried to you, Holy One. The sheaves of barley are saying, a prayer of the pauper when he swoons and pours out his speech before the eternal. The other sheaves are saying, the meadows are clothed with flocks. The valleys are covered over with grain. They shout for joy and they sing. The vegetables of the field are saying, you water its furrows abundantly. You settle its ridges. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. The grasses are saying, May the glory of being endure forever. May being rejoice in creation. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh. 